Who are you guys? Who are you people? Phil Kent here. 100 Day Blitz Facebook Live video. Day number 88. Day number 88. Can't believe myself. Nearly there. Only, what, 12 days to go. How are we doing? For those of you who don't know what I'm doing, started a 100 Day Blitz at the start of October. One of the things I said I would do is I do a Facebook Live video every single day. Or I'll try and do 100 live videos in that time. So far, I've only missed one day, so I've done 87 live so far out of 88. And one day between now and the 100 day mark, I will do the 100. Hey, Billy Carl, say Simon on, on Solo Chat. So I normally give it a standard sort of two minute window, is what I normally do, just to uh, give people a chance to jump on. And then I'll uh, pick up on a couple of points from yesterday, get some feedback and see how it goes from there. I'm going to try and keep it a bit shorter. These things keep going on too long. I think it's a case of me talking too much. I think that's the problem. Or people giving too much feedback, one of the two. I mean, yesterday's one was another half hour job, nearly 25 minutes, something like that. So what are we doing? Are you doing good? It's 1.30 p.m. here in the UK. Bit of a cold one, but at least the sun is shining. does make a change. So I normally give it a standard two minute window, so I'm sort of stalling a little bit. I watch the clock and give it about two minutes just to uh, give people a chance to jump on. And then I'm just going to cover a little topic that seems to prop up um, all the time, uh, definitely frequently. How are you doing, Linda? And uh, just see what people think and just give my sort of viewpoints on it, really. And then sort of see where we go from there. How are we doing, John? How are we doing, James? We're sort of getting there now. So I'll let me wait just the two minutes. It's the standard thing I do. Just give people a chance to come in and then we'll crack on. We've Facebook Live and this is day 88 of the 100 day blitz. Right, so I put today's title up. I put stop asking for info because it's, it's, we're still doing it. I, I touched briefly on this yesterday, sort of when I covered the three main points why people struggle online. And it's something that you're still seeing ever so apparent. And it's generally the same people that are doing it. You know, you'll get somebody that will write a post along the lines of, hey, check out my new great opportunity. If you want to find out how to make 10 grand in the next month, then ask for info or whatever it may be. Oh, I've got this new hot ICO that's going to be the biggest thing since Bitcoin. Drop info below. And then you get all these, you know, flies, if you like. <laughs> there's no want of a better phrase you know uh just sort of zoom in on this post asking for info 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 you know and it's generally the same people doing it and you know you, you've got to realize people that it's generally the people that are struggling or generally the people that are not making much that are, are the ones that are jumping on it you know in most situations and you've got to ask yourself i touched on this yesterday a little bit you know if you're not making money in the program that you are in for some reason, yeah, then what makes you think you're going to make it in the next program? It's not rocket science, you know, it's all about getting eyeballs onto your program. And the person that is making that post asking you for the info, these are the people that are going to make more money because they're getting all the idiots that are jumping in and putting info on to join them in their merry little crusade. And that's basically the way it works. So you just sort of, you just sort of, sort of wake up. You know, at the end of the day, another thing that I, I always touch upon is, you know, there are some really good, stable platforms out there. And especially with the way the market is at the moment now, nothing is guaranteed. Things are going down all the time, even in the offline world, yeah, let alone let alone the online world. OK, so there's online programs. There's some quite big ones that have gone recently, as we all know. You know, so, you know, but there are some very good, solid, long term, stable platforms out there. Um, just to give you an example off the top of my head, say, if you were talking, say, marketing systems, you could look at something like OSP or uh, Powerlead System or whatever. Yeah. Two very good examples of long, stable platforms. And there are other long, stable platforms connected with other avenues of marketing or particular business, whether it be traffic or whatever. Yeah. So the point I'm trying to make here is that, you know, realistically, this is where you should be heading with the with the, the unstable sort of online market as it is. You know, you really shouldn't be looking for these new things to grab info on, you know, because how long do you know how you know how long are these programs going to last? You know, how, realistically, how long are these programs going to last? That's what you've got to ask yourself. Just because it's this new shiny thing that's coming along and you think you're going to get in quick and maybe make a bit of money before everybody else does. It doesn't work like that. I've got to say, you know, 
you've got to sort of wake up. You know, you, you'd be far better off sticking with a trusted program that's been around for a while, that's more than likely going to be around for a bit longer as well, because it's already, say, been around for four or five, six, seven years. So why look for something new all the time? The amount of people that do it is, is crazy. You know, you, you wouldn't do it in your offline world. You know, if you were going for, a, say, to work or looking for a small job in your offline world, your your gut instinct will tell you to go with a company that's been around for a little while that you know about that you know the name of etc you think well there this this business has been there you wouldn't just jump on some new shop that popped up on the corner of the high street that may not be there tomorrow when you go back down there to have a look it's it's exactly the same way you know it's exactly the same procedure you've got to you've got to sort of think logically here you know so these people that are asking for info all they're doing is and jumping around from program to program to program to program there's no stability in this program there's no trust in these programs and the bottom line is you know if you're not making money where you are then what makes you think you're going to make it the grass isn't any greener it's all about doing your marketing it's all about building relationships it's all about getting eyeballs on your system that's this is what makes it work and if you're not getting eyeballs and generating leads and sales with the company that you're in then you're not going to make it in the next program. It really is as simple as that. And you've got to, you've got to sort of understand that and sort of get into it, you know, <clears throat> and just understand it. Because I'm still seeing it all the time. And you generally see the same sort of people. It's this group of people that jump around on these posts. You know, I know there are different variations to it. There are people that say you do a lot of investing in crypto and Bitcoin and new ICOs. That is a bit different. They might want to take a look at a, a new ICO that's coming out. But generally speaking, I'm talking about the sort of generally speaking, you, know, you could write a post about anything. I can guarantee that anybody watching this, if they went and wrote a post and say, right, hey, I've just been introduced to this fabulous new program. But it's ground floor. We're just about to launch. And you've got the ability to make, you know, 10 grand in the next 30 days. Comment info below. You're going to get all these idiots go info, info, info. You know, very you know what it is, who it is, you know, because they're sold on this sort of dream that they're going to make this quick money with this wonderful amazing new magic program that's just going to give them money in 30 days just because the guy who wrote the post said so you know come on guys you just sort of wake up you know welcome to the real world it doesn't work like that it's still all about eyeballs if you're not getting traffic on your system of uh, traffic to your opportunity if you're not getting eyeballs then you're not going to make any money in it so that's, that's the bottom line if you want to go into a passive income stream, I mean, yes, that can work without building a team, but you need the investment. So it depends which way your budget is and how you want to operate and stuff like that, because you still got to put the money in on the passive income side to get it back. And just see if I missed any comments coming in. Hi, Rex Hill, how are you doing? Hi, Naomi, Essex in the house. That's good to see, we good like Essex in the house. Hi, Derek, hi, Matthias, how are we all doing? So if you've got any sort of your own feedback on that, just, just sort of throw it out there. Any questions, I'll happily answer if I think I know the answers to them. No, I'm just trying to, try to help people. I always try to give out value on these lives, you know, because you don't want people getting sort of sucked in, in the wrong direction. I mean, I always try and stay with proven, stable programs where I can. Yes, there are some good new ones that come along, but generally what I'll do with, even with a new, so if something new takes my interest, I will never just sort of jump straight on it. I may just sort of take a look at it myself. And then in nearly all cases, I won't do anything with it for at least three months. For at least three months. That's just the way I that's just the way I pray. It's the way I've learned through experience online. You know, just wait to see what happens after three months because you're going to get that sort of way, you're going to get that rush where everybody's buzzing about a new program. And you know, the, how many programs have you seen people get buzzing about that six months down the line, they're gone. You know, it happens so many times, you know, it, it, just the way it operates. And just because you get hold of a program in the early stages, yeah, doesn't mean you're going to make any money with it because it doesn't work like that. <clears throat> How it basically works, just say you're on the news feed today and somebody posts something about a, a new opportunity and they say, comment below for info. Yeah, you're going to get the the guy's link or whatever it is to go take a look, you know, you'll just take a look and what, what the average person does, they don't just sign up immediately, put money in and then see what they can do. That's not what they do. The average person, what they will do is they'll take that link and they'll have a look. If they like the look of it, then they go off to Google or YouTube. 
this is what the average person does. They go to Google or YouTube, okay, they'll go and do research on that company. If then it's a program, they might think, hey, I quite like the look of this, you know, will they join with that original person? No, not necessarily, not if they don't know anything about them, not if they don't have a relationship with that person. They'll either look for somebody who they know provides value and they've already built a relationship first, or what they'll do, they'll go over to somewhere like YouTube and see if anybody else is promoting that and see if they're offering maybe a training site, a team building system, whatever. They'll look for somebody to join. So you're not gonna gain anything by, by just, just, just becoming a part of any program in the early stages. It's not gonna do you any benefits. You know, you've gotta, you've gotta build yourself up. You've gotta build your business and just by joining these opportunities. That's why so many people end up joining so many different things. And if you were to add up all these all these amounts of money that you'd say join 25 bucks here, 50 bucks here, 100 bucks here, whatever it is, and if you'd taken all those figures in instead of and put them into say paid traffic for the business that you're in, guess what? You know, you're gonna get leads, you, you might get a few sales, you'll be building your email list up and building a relationship up. It's gonna be wiser money invested in staying where you are. It's really as simple as that. Uh, how are you doing, Rory? Nice to see you. Rory says, build an empire period, absolutely. And he says, build your sales off your timeline. That's right, I mean, you can provide value, you get people to you. But jumping around, asking for info on every little post that you see is not gonna get you anywhere. You know, it really isn't. You might get the odd one, like I said, it's different if you're someone who's trading in ICOs or building in ICOs and things like that, and you, you're taking a look at different ones. That's a slightly different, sort of looking at it from a different angle on that, but then you'll still make your own judgment. But, you know, come the new year, we're gonna get a massive influx of new programs because it happens every year in the first couple of months. But, you know, how many of them programs you've got to ask yourself will be around say six months, 12 months time from when, when, they've, when they've been launched, hardly any of them. So why aren't you instead looking and say, what you should be doing realistically is, is saying, well, which programs are around now that have been around for three, four, five years? Wouldn't that be more logical? Wouldn't that be a safer route to take to join something that is stable, that's still going, that's, got the stability, it's got the good owners, it's got the growth behind it. You know, because people get the wrong mindset. They just think, oh, that program's been out for over a year. Nobody will join that now. What a load of crap. I've never heard I've never heard of being ridiculous in all my life. That is how people think. That is how the employee mindsets think. They think because a program's been out over six months to a year, that's it. Sales have gone. No one joins that now. What a load of rubbish. If you think like that, then that is the results that you will get period you know if you if you get into the mindset of nobody's going to join this because it's been out too long then guess what you're not going to get anybody to join because your mindset is producing those results for you that is the way it works you know because your mindset is huge and if that is how you think if you sit there thinking i'm not going to get any leads and no one's going to join this then they won't because that's what you're giving out that's the that's your mindset giving out it's a negative mindset basically working with you and that's the results you're going to produce is like anything but if you, if you adopt the positive mindset and say right what am i got what do i need to do here to produce leads what do i need to do here to produce results because i know this program will work yeah it's been around a long time people are still doing well with this people are still earning money with it and then i'm going to do everything i can to start getting eyeballs onto this system and generating leads and generating sales and building an email list and building a follow-up series and building a relationship with these people that come in through my system so they will stay with me a long time. They may not want to join that particular program, but then if you offer something of value all the time, they're gonna stick around with you. They're gonna stay on your email list and they may well cho choose to join you in something else further down the line. That is how the industry works. That is how it's all operates. It's a relationship industry. The network marketing is a relationship industry. Yeah, <clears throat> you know, that is basically how it works. You've got to build relationships as you would in the offline world. It, it works all the same way. Hey there, Rakesh, nice to see you. If you've got any feedback on that, guys, just throw it in. It's just, I see two or three posts yesterday, and that sort of prompted sort of today's today's little topic, you know, because people are still doing it. It's one person says, comment below for info and everybody just jumps in. You know, you're not gonna find anything new 
is far better off. When I say to people, when, when people ask me what good programs are around, I will not recommend them something new. You know, I will not recommend something new. I will say to them, you know, if, if they say, do you know a good marketing system? I won't pick out some one of the new ones that I've seen popping around where people try and push a new marketing system. I say I would go with something like OSP or PLS, you know, because they're two proven systems they're stable, they're long term, they're reliable, good owners, pay on time, excellent marketing systems. That's where you're going to recommend people to. These things have been there a long time. You know, there are, and it's the same with other programs. You want to recommend stability and security because it's getting worse and harder online to find good, reliable programs. I mean, look what happened to the likes of, say, CTC in the year. You know, people thought that was this huge, fantastic, wonderful program, you know. And it literally disappeared overnight, you know, and that this, this is what happens is this is the risk you take with programs that are new, you know, nothing is nothing is safe. So you're much better off going with a program that's been around a long time. Stop looking for this new hot program because it's not going to it's not going to make you a lot of money unless you are the one at the top and you're the one that's getting all the idiots to join in below you. This is basically what it comes down to. Now you because these people are just throwing their money here thinking that oh yeah this program will be it this program will be it you know I'll, I'll get in quick and everybody will join me it doesn't work like that like I said people will do their own research and they'll whether they, you are the first person to show them it or not is irrelevant because they'll do their own research and then they'll find somebody they wish to join under that is how it works so you know you gotta you gotta just sort of think long term I always recommend people now to longer term programs if i've joined something new or newish you know I, I will have sat on it myself for at least three months it won't be new by the time i start telling people about it because i you know if i've joined a program which i have done some you know i'll wait at least three months like i say i give it a sort of three month grace period to see what happens you know I've, you know whether it, will i miss out on any rush or not, i don't care about that i'd rather just you know experience tells you to sit back see what happens after three months. If it's still going in three months time, then take a look and see what's happening once all the buzz and the fuss has died down and then just leave others to it. If you miss out, hey, so what? It doesn't matter. You know, you just got to, you got to think logically and look to, you know, you, you got to look to protect your investments and protect your money online at all times. You've got to keep your costs low. You've got to keep your, you know, your risk management is, is imperative online. You've got to you make sure it's high because otherwise, I, mean, I know people have lost thousands and I'm talking, thousands of thousands online by doing things like this by throwing money in crazily that they'd never do that in an offline world they will they'll do it online it's madness you've got to you know risk management is what it's all about you know money management and things like that treat it as you would a business and be sensible so that's just about it guys i can't see uh, any other comments coming in a few people joining it's good to see um so, hi, hi Rakesh, you said perfect video, superb, thank you. Hi Pascal and Sakito, nice to see you all. So that's that's my thoughts for the day. You know, just think again before you sort of jump in and ask for info on things. You know, just be careful because you know it's it's not, you know, the grass is never any greener, as they say. You know, if you're if you're struggling to upgrade the program that you are in, then you should be looking at ways to improve on that. If the program is good, if the program is stable. In a, and it's long lasting. There's people around it, there, and more importantly, if there are already people in that particular business making money, then you know that it works. There's nothing to say it doesn't work. It's just a case of you need to do the work. The, the, the thing that isn't working is yourself. It's not the program. It's yourself, and that is the way you should look at it. You, you need to be working to produce the results, to produce the income, and get the returns that you need. End of story. That really is it. So. Look for the stable programs. You're gonna you're gonna thank yourself in the long term. Otherwise, you'll end up joining too many things. You'll jump around too much. You you'll be losing money left, right, and centre because you're not ever, get, ever gaining anything back. You know, stick with the one, grow that first. Pick something nice, long term, and stable. If you want to have a couple of programs working hand in hand, say a marketing system with a business, that's fine. But just make sure that they're trusted. Make sure they're working together, and make sure that you and cover the funds and things like that. It's all about money management. So like I said, I think that covers all the points I'm waiting to raise. I don't think I've missed any questions. Let's scroll back up. 
it's looking good looking good so that's just about it guys it's uh what are we at 150 so about just come at the 20 minute mark so appreciate you sitting in appreciate the feedback the guys that fed back and uh whatever you're doing have a great day this is my facebook live video day 88 of my 100 day blitz so thanks for watching have a great day whatever you're doing i'll catch you round about the same time tomorrow margaret just jumped in and said morning phil hey dear margaret you just caught me at the end so you have to catch the replay whatever you're doing people have a great day take care of yourselves and speak to you real soon cheers now